All right, so I wanted to talk about something very important, and that is acoustic setups. <clears throat> I'm at the point in the setup where I've already changed the strings and I've already um, stretched the strings. So now I'm wanting to make some adjustments to make this play better. I want to see, there's a couple of measurements that I'm looking at. Um, I want to see, number one, just the action. So I'm going to use a string action gauge and check it at the 12th. Um, so it is registering at like three and a half millimeters. That's why I'm sure the owner brought it to me. It's high. Um, and then at the bottom, you know, the high E string is a little lower than the low E string. The high E string is about two and a half millimeters. The low E string, which is the one I always measure, is about three and a half millimeters. So, um, I'm going to look at the nut height here and see what is the string height at the first fret. <clears throat> um, looking pretty good a little over a half a millimeter on the E and the A and then we're at like a solid half millimeter on the other four strings so you know as far as the string height at the nut goes I could file down the slots a little bit on the E and the A to make it more comfortable but it's pretty much within range um, now I'll take a look down here at the saddle, and we've got a bit of room down here at the saddle, but, you know, not a whole lot. It's not super tall, and um, honestly, I think it's, I, I think both the nut and the saddle are, are pretty much within range. So the one thing that we can change rather easily is the truss rod, which is the, the neck relief or how much it bows. So we can bring the neck closer to the strings by adjusting the truss rod on this one, it's right inside there, you can see. Um, now, if we adjust this, and what I'm gonna check for is that it's buzzing. Um, so if I adjust it and it does start to buzz, then I can always adjust it back. And it's a, an instantaneous adjustment, you can do it with the strings at tension. Uh, I think this is a pretty common wrench, I think it's a four millimeter used on tons of guitars. This is one of the ones I, um, this is a Guild, I just used it on Epiphone. This one's one of the ones that I keep on my workbench a lot. So one of the measurements I'm looking for that I'd like to see is two and a half millimeters measured at the 12th on the low E string. I'm not getting that yet. Um, so I'm gonna Tighten this truss rod a bit more. See if I can get close to that. No, at this point you could be saying, man, that's a lot of tightening you've done. Well, sometimes they need it, and I can always go back. Okay, so let's see what this sounds like. I'm gonna retune. That sounds like four or five eighth turns. Okay. So now I want to check for buzzes. Um, I've made some adjustments. Let's we'll see where we're at. We went from three and a half millimeters to 2.5 exactly where I wanted to be. And now let's check for buzzes. One of the biggest culprits is right here on this D string. And this one. Um, well, the G string, second fret, and the D string, second fret. It's not buzzing. Now, if the guitar were to buzz, it would happen right there, but... Also at the 5th and 7th fret, which seem like on every guitar, just because of the geome geometry, are prone. Now it's on the verge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check the other frets. I think this is playing perfectly.
Now, a lot of people would say, oh, you're supposed to sand down the, the saddle before you start adjusting the truss rod or whatnot. If you, are to, if you do sand down the saddle, which sometimes that is an option, especially if the saddle is really, really big, you're also going to alter the player's ability to use a capo right here. So I usually ask whether uh, players are using the capo here, and I probably wouldn't sand down the saddle if they're going to use a capo, or else it'll, it could ruin that whole experience for them. Um, okay, so, you know, and here's another thing, like whenever I fix the neck relief here, I also fix the nut. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's looking good. So it's all, now it's a lot better here at the nut after I got the um, neck relief set. So, solved two problems. Okay, and this guitar plays a lot better than it did coming in. Um, it is all finished, ready.